Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can record the correcting entries. In fact, accountants must make correcting entries when they find errors. So it's unnecessary if the records are error free. And these correcting entries, they must be posted before closing entries. In fact, there are two ways to make correcting entries. First, by making a single journal entry. So when combined with the original incorrect entry, the error will be fixed. Or reverse the incorrect entry. And here, when you reverse the incorrect entry, and then you use a second journal entry to record the transaction correctly. It's especially important to fully document a correcting entry, since these items are difficult to understand after some time has passed. So in order to illustrate how we make correcting entries, we're having the first case here, and we will use the single entry. So on June 10, ABC Company journalized and posted a $50 cash collection on account from a customer as a debit to cash $50 and credit to service revenue $50. The company discovered the error on June 20, when the customer paid the remaining balance in full. So here, the incorrect entry, it's cash debit and service revenue, it's credit. It's incorrect because it shouldn't be service revenue credit because it's a collection on account. It means the accounts receivable, they decreased. And usually the account receivable, they decrease by credit. So the correct entry we're having, cash, it's debit, and this part is correct. However, the service revenue, it's incorrect, and it should be accounts receivable, credit. So here you can see the incorrect entry and the correct entry. So the correcting entry, as we defined it uh, previously, when combining it with the incorrect entry, it will lead to the correct entry. So here I'm having the cash debit $50. This part is correct. However, the incorrect part, it's the service revenue. So in order to eliminate the service revenue, the service revenue here, it's credit. In order to eliminate it, I have to put it as debit. So service revenue, debit in the correcting entry. Also, in order to have uh, a correction, the accounts receivable, it should be credit. So now, if you want to mix or to combine the, correct, the, the correcting entry with the incorrect entry, you can see that cash is debit, okay? And there is no, uh, uh, no other transaction with cash. Service revenue, we're having it credit in the incorrect entry, and then it's debit in the correcting entry, so it's eliminated. And then we're having the accounts receivable credit $50. So when combining the incorrect with the correcting entry, it will lead us to the correct entry. Now, if we are having the same case, but what we will use, we will use the reversing entry. The reversing, it's easier. Since first we're having the incorrect entry, what we do, we reverse the whole entry. It means, the cash will be credit and the service revenue will be debit. So like this, I'm eliminating the whole effect of the incorrect entry. So this is the first step that I have to do. The second step that I have to do is to journalize and to record the correct entry. So cash, it's debit, $50, and accounts receivable, it's credit, $50. Now I will make another example. On May 18, ABC Company purchased on account equipment costing $450. The transaction was journalized and posted as debit to equipment $45 and a credit to accounts payable $45. The error was discovered on June 3rd. Here, as you can see, the error that the accountant, he forgot the zero. So this is why the incorrect entry, it's equipment 45 and accounts payable, it's 45. 
However, it should be equipment debit 450 and accounts payable credit 450. Now, if you want to uh, test your knowledge, you can pause the video in order to make the correcting entry. So the correcting entry that we're having, as we said previously, when combined with the incorrect entry, it should lead us to the correct entry. So we have to see the difference. So we have to add to the equipment 450 minus 45, that means 405. And also to the accounts payable credit 405. So now when I'm combining the correcting entry with the incorrect entry, I will have the correct entry. Now, if I want to reverse uh, the entry, also you can pause the video and test your knowledge. So here, in order to reverse it, it means I have to eliminate the whole effect of the incorrect entry. So equipment will be credit and accounts payable will be debit 45 and 45. And then I have to record the correct entry which is equipment 450, debit, and accounts payable, credit 450. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel.